Hi everyone, it's April 7th, 2024. This is our weekly energy update. And I'm actually recording it a few days earlier, so I wanted to just have this ready for you just in case I do not get to do it on the actual day because I'll be traveling. So the card that I have here that came out as I was pre-shuffling was hope. And of course I want you to have hope, but what I want you to have more than anything else is notice this light. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you know that I posted recently, I think it was Easter Sunday, that more light is entering the earth and it was shown on the Schumann Resonance app. And if you don't know what that is, take a look at it. And it shows you where the power is, at what point, and you'll see their light and you'll see here a light as well. And I even looked at it today and there's actually more light entering the earth. And yesterday, where I live, but I feel like everyone everywhere was complaining on maybe on the east or the east and the mid coasts were saying how bad it was rain wise. The storms were intense. But I like to look at it like we are really getting a purifying and a clearing because more light is entering this earth. And with that comes more of an awakening and an awareness of your clarity, of your vision, your intuitive vision of the fact that you know that things are changing and you know that things are changing inside of yourself and the shadows are coming up for you to see, to fully see. And sometimes what happens is the physical body experiences lots of fatigue when going through this process and you may be or you may have been experiencing that in one way shape or form or you may have aches and pains in parts of your body that you've never had before because anything that happens on the physical level is coming from an inside job an emotional level or it's happening for a reason inside the body it's a message for you so know that when the light is coming in and it is entering the earth, it is entering our physical bodies and it can be intense because the less shadow work you have done, the more that you are going to feel it. The more shadow work that you have been doing, the more inner work that you have been doing. I'm not saying that you are exempt from going through it because you're not, but you may be feeling it a little less but it's definitely intense out there. So don't, um, don't participate in the fears, the fear mongering that is going on around us all the time. I feel like anytime I see something that's fear based, I might take a listen for a minute or two. And then what I do is I feel inside myself and I say, is this serving me? Or is this causing me to have fear and anxiety because if it is I shut it off that doesn't mean I'm putting my head in the sand that doesn't mean I'm not going to be aware of things but what it means is I'm not going to bring that in my energy field because when you listen to things that are not serving you when you're in a situation that is not serving you you're bringing it into the auric part of your energy field and it hits this auric part which you can't see unless you can see auras before it hits the physical body. So know that. Know that wherever you put your energy, your energy is being sucked from it. So where do you want to put your energy? Do you want to put your energy in this, in hope, in the light, in knowing that you're working on your shadows and you're breaking down the barriers and you know that whatever you're working through is going to be for your best and highest good and you know that you're accelerating but you also know that you have to drop that luggage that anchor that you have been carrying for so long because it's not going to help you in the process of ascending of expanding of growing so keep that in your heart keep the light in your heart now what i'm going to do is i have the cards out and i want to just pull two cards are calling my name for you so we have these two cards here 
material and spiritual prosperity and harmony. Harmony, I want to take a look at and tell you that harmony has to do with you balancing yourself out. And when you can see the shadow inside of yourself and you can cut the cords and you can break the barriers down, you're helping to balance yourself out in the long run, okay? There, I do have on my YouTube channel a cord cutting meditation, and I would really encourage you to do that if you need to do that at this time. For the month of April, I encourage you to come in and have a session for Reiki because it's going to help you to cut your cords and clear whatever you need to be clearing out this month. This is an important month in your growth and your acceleration. And then the second card that's coming up is material and spiritual prosperity. So what this is telling us is that shifts and changes, and I just looked at the time and it was 555 and five represents change. So shifts and changes are really coming in at this time for each and every one of us. And based on where you're at in your growth, based on where you're at in the necessity of it, based on where you're at in your wanting to do it, is how much prosperity you will encounter. You may not do the work as much as the other person does, and so you won't feel it as much. But each one of us is having a shift and a change, and our spiritual prosperity is growing. So I want you to know that as well, okay? You are protected. You are guarded. You are being asked. You have a job to do as well. You are being asked to put up the boundaries that are necessary, to put yourself in situations that serve you and to take yourself out of situations that do not serve you any longer because that is key also. Patience. And this card keeps coming up because this is not going to be an easy process, but it's one that is necessary. And so your job is to have patience through the process. Remember that God is in charge at the end of the day. Your job is to just do the work on an individual level that is going to help and serve your best and highest good and those around you. But from there, God is in charge. So you might have a different idea of how this is going to happen for you. Your job is to get out of the way and to not control the outcome at all because God is is in charge and your job is to just have patience through the process so let's pull three cards now and let's see where each of you are at based on cards one two and three so we have one here's one okay so the first people card number one people you might have have been going through a lot of challenges and they might be challenges that were necessary but you had to sacrifice whether you sacrificed your time or you sacrificed your energy or you sacrificed a relationship or you sacrificed something within your life and each of you will be different in how that showed up but you feel like you kind of were at a halt or you had to sacrifice something in order for you to go through whatever you had to go through know that things are going to be shifting and changing for you choices you have made do not um do not blame yourself for those choices but instead i want you to shift that so this is an example of cutting a cord shifting the change that you shifting the choice that you made where you have blame cut the cord instead forgive yourself bring in forgiveness because at the time you thought that was a right choice for you. Rather than weighing yourself down with that anchor, that luggage, that baggage, cut it. It's time to cut the cord of blame and maybe cut the cord of blame of others around you that were part of it and offer up forgiveness. There's growth in doing that. So if you are someone who chose card number one, I want you to notice where in your life you sacrifice or where you feel you sacrifice. And do that cord cutting work and see as the days go progress how that feels and does it feel lighter because it should. And if it doesn't keep doing that for yourself, keep giving yourself that time to break the barrier of blame 
and bring in the light of forgiveness. Card number two is upside down. You're entering into new beginnings and we all are entering into new beginnings in our own right. The energy is coming in to give us this new offering of new beginning with more light. But you that chose card number two are really having a new beginning, a new chapter. Where is that showing up for you in your life? Allow yourself to feel into the new beginning and have patience as you go through this process. It's not going to be something that happens quickly and swiftly. It's going to be a slow and steady process, especially because we're in Mercury retrograde pretty much for the whole month of April. So take your time in this. Do a lot of resting and rejuvenating as you continue through the month. But I also want you to know this. When you're going through this process, it's very important for you to notice where anxiety is showing up. Because if anxiety is showing up in any aspect of going through it, remember you're protected. But that doesn't mean you're not going to feel the anxiety. It's still going to show up. That means you're moving too fast. So you want to slow it down and know that as you take each day or how about each moment, one moment at a time and have patience through that process, know that new beginnings are coming but you might have to go slower than you would like to. Sometimes our mind is working faster than our heart and our emotions and our body, and we need to slow down. So when you're feeling anxiety, back it up, pause, stop, slow, and then continue on being present in every moment. And that's a better step, and that will help to reduce the anxiety as well. Card number three, and we're talking about accelerated motion. So, so for the people that chose card number three, you're probably on a more accelerated version of what we're talking about today. More light might be entering you at a greater speed. It is for your best and highest good. It might also be coming in quicker to zap away the shadows or to bring them to the surface so that you really see them so that you really can work on clearing them. But you're at a more accelerated pace. So be patient with yourself. We're going to go back to that card. You're working on really harmonizing the body, okay? Harmonizing the energies inside the body. Harmonizing and ridding yourself of those things that have been weighing you down because they're not working or serving you any longer. All of consciousness is awakening. You're dropping the patterns that are not serving you any longer, okay? We have one final card here. <laughs> We're birthing a new earth. We are birthing newness inside of ourselves, which is going to help to birth a new earth. And no one, no one knows what it's going to look like, okay? Those that want to create fear are going to continue to try to do so. Do not play into it. Know that you are protected. Know that changes are occurring. Things might come to the surface that are going to be crazier than you ever imagined. And who could even say, like, with all we've been experiencing, is there anything crazier? But there is. But stay in your power. See yourself surrounded in that yellow. And know that cutting cords comes from the solar plexus. So always see yellow around your center. Put the armor of protection around you from God. Call in Archangel Michael for strength, courage, and protection. You are guarded and protected. You are safe. Set your boundaries. Take your time and be patient. And just be. That's the most important thing you can do right now. Just be. No doing. Being. It's Mercury retrograde. And it's time to slow down. And to just be. And allow whatever is going to occur for you. For your best and highest good to happen. I hope that you guys have a great week. Take good care. Bye-bye.